Hello, welcome back. Today we are going to learn how to evaluate certain definite integrals by using the areas of common geometric figures. So for this purpose we are given two integrals, two definite integrals. One of them is the integral of x over 3 from 0 to 6 and the other one is the integral of 1 minus absolute value of x from negative 1 to one. Before we hit the road, I want to show you how we define definite integrals as the area of a region. If you start with a continuous and non-negative function on the closed interval a and b, then the area of the region bounded by the graph of f, x-axis, and the vertical lines x equals a and x equals b is just the integral of f of x dx from a to B, so that's equivalent to the area between F, x-axis, uh, x equals A, and x equals B. All right, to, to represent those integrals in terms of the areas between, let's say, this function, x-axis, and x equals zero and x equals six vertical lines, we have to graph that region. If you are talking about F of x equals x over three, you have the equation of a line, that is the blue line representing the function. And here is the x-axis, okay? And the lower limit is x equals zero. x equals zero is the y-axis, in fact. That's the vertical line y-axis, right? And, and the upper limit is uh, six, so x equals six is this vertical line here. So the area bounded between four functions, f, x-axis, y-axis, and x equals six vertical line is this shaded region here. And you can easily observe that the shaded region is a right triangle. Well, we can use the fact in the previous slide saying that um, the integral from zero to six, x over three dx, is the area of the shaded region. All right, so what is the area of the right triangle? Because right triangle is the shaded region. Well, it's one half base times the height of the triangle. Here we go. So the base is of length six, and the height is of uh, length two, as you see here. And one half times six times two is exactly equal to six. So this is us detouring all the Riemann sum and limiting process to come well, with the value of the definite integral by using the area concept. And, and, and luckily this area is the known area, that's the area of a right triangle. So we conclude that this integral here is equal to six. All right, for part B, we have to sort of like elaborate a little bit more because we have the function to be one minus the absolute value of x. So at this moment, you should remember the definition of the absolute value function. Well, first of all, this is a piecewise function, and depending on the sign of x, you have two pieces here. So one is the x is non-negative and the x is non-positive. Okay, when x's are positive, as you see that the value of absolute value of x is just x, so the function is one minus x. And on the left-hand side of y-axis, where, where x's are all negative, well, the absolute value function gives the value of negative x here, but you have another negative sign here, so it should be one plus x. So what you can do in your calculator is that you can graph one minus x for positive x's, which is gonna be this graph here with negative slope and then you can graph one plus x for negative values of x, and that comes with positive slope, it's this one. So two of them intersect at this point. So one. the correct representation of the region is, uh, is the area between this blue curve, this blue curve, x-axis, and the vertical lines, vertical lines x equals negative one, and the vertical line, uh, x equals one. Now all I'm gonna do here is to find the area of this triangular region, which we know how to find it because we know the base and the height of the triangle. 
So the base is from negative 1 to 1, so it's just two units, right? So 1 half times the base times height. And height here is from 0 to 1, so it's 1. So you're talking about the area 1. So you can go ahead and write just 1 here. All right, this ends the video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video. Bye.